After discovering her son Mickey was profoundly deaf in both ears, our next guest made it her mission to help him and others thrive. Here to discuss her latest book, Mickey on the Move, Farming, is author Michelle Wagner, along with Mickey himself. Mickey, Michelle, thank you both so much for joining me today on Live in the Bay. Thank you, Olivia. Thank you. Yes, yeah. of course. Now, Mickey, we are going to get into all the details about you and your story, but before we head there, I'd love to hear from you, Michelle, on what really inspired you to write this book series. Well, I love, I've always loved children and education and just awareness in general. And something that always came up was Mickey trying to explain um, what these little devices are on his head. Mm -hmm. And when, before he could really, his speech was developed, it was very hard. Mm -hmm. And so uh, a friend suggested to me during uh, COVID, <laughs> uh, you know, you should write a book, you know, about Mickey, start writing books. And so I just took a stab at it, and uh, I, I mean, he inspires me every day, so that's, so <laughs> that's all the inspiration I needed. That is, that's true, too. Sometimes that is all the inspiration you need to someone that you really love. And yes. Mickey, for you, when it comes to your journey, uh, what would you say maybe is the best part about seeing yourself in these books that your mom wrote? When we got moved from a book, Mm -hmm. And with chicken, uh, egg, and be honey, mm -hmm. and it would, would be honey made it, mm -hmm. and for, to hive too, mm -hmm. and for my chicken with egg, right egg so much, yeah, and all stuff I were widow, I would, with my mommy, mm -hmm. all stuff we make cook egg on factor for my chicken, and we with my chicken coochie with cute, and. We made honeybees too, and we we stuff we like we play mm -hmm. swimming, play <laughs> Lego. That's so and fun. You like telling everybody about what yes. all the things you can do, and yeah. that's all the things that sharing. Yeah. yeah, and that's a lot of things that people can probably find in this book. So it sounds like you find a lot of joy at the farm. It sounds like, and people can actually read about that within the book as well. Correct, Michelle? Yes, yes. The first book focuses uh, really on the challenges and, um, you know, how, how important inclusivity is yeah. and adaption and that children, you know, as long as they have positive role models, they can take anything, you know, in stride and any little, any little problem that came up, um, whether it was in sports or at school, we just found a way to solve the problem. And for you, as a mother and now an author, when you were seeing your son go through some of these things, what kind of an impact did that have on you, and how did that really help motivate you to spread awareness? Uh, well, the best thing that I, I think that I could have done as a mother was to stay positive mm. and to just say, we're going to solve this and try every you know, scenario possible, ask for help. I would say asking for help and others that shared their experiences with us, whether it was other moms mm -hmm. or people through uh, the Cochlear Implant Foundation, we, we were just able to really um, pinpoint and come up with our own things. And a lot of that is shared either on my website or within the books. And, um, and I, think, I just think helping people is so important. And I'm sure that you've helped so many people with your books and your story, Mickey, so much so that you've actually won some awards for these books. Can yes. you talk to me about that? Yes, I, uh, well, I'm, you know, I'm a full-time realtor and I have lots of hobbies, but uh, the, the books, as soon as they came out, won several awards. And I was really shocked because um, English was not my best subject or writing. <laughs> and, you know, it just shows that the message is what's important. Mm -hmm. And um, the purpose of these books was education and awareness. Mm -hmm. And Mickey had, you know, we would travel and he would use it kind of like his own business card to tell people, you know, these are my cochlear implants. Mm -hmm. Can you talk slower? Yes. And I really, something I really instilled in him is to just, you know, advocate for himself. Mm -hmm. And advocating is truly so important, especially when you are younger. Just teaching kids that at such a young age is incredible. Now, I know one of the books is about the farm, mm -hmm. and that is a big part of Mickey's life. So, Mickey, I actually want to ask you, what do you love most about the farm? I eat pretty chicken mm -hmm. and lay egg mm -hmm. and feed chick and 
water and compost and dry food yeah. and all stuff we play with him. And we actually saw some of the eggs today. We have some of the eggs from your chickens, right? Yes. Thank you for bringing those. You're welcome. And They're delicious. You, did you also bring some honey too? Yes. So this is fresh honey. You want to show our viewers? Yeah, you can just hold it up there for the yeah. camera. We'll catch that. That's amazing. Mickey, thank you so much for bringing that welcome. from the farm. We appreciate it. And Michelle, what is some of the reactions that you've received from everybody when it comes to this book and how it's just changed oh, a, lot gra of a lot of gratitude which is something that is so important to me just gratitude um for you know not you know i have had my own challenges throughout life and as we all do and the most important thing is to just open up and maybe share your experiences mm -hmm. you know good and bad and you know how you got through it and you know, just a lot of thank yous, and thank you for sharing your story. Thank you for sharing your solutions, and um, and staying positive, right. which is which is you know really helped Mickey, I think, be you know the confident young 15 year old that he is. <laughs> and I can see that that confidence is just exuding all over the place. So thank you so much, Mickey, for joining us today on Live in the Bay, and Michelle, we appreciate you and the work that you're doing. My pleasure, of course. <laughs>